Her Pen Pal is an okay film. I wouldn't say it's a great film, largely because some of the characters are not that likeable, but it's certainly a watchable film. This was released in 2021. It's directed by Claire Niederprom, written by Amy Helms, Kim Askew and Joey Botkin. And it stars Mallory Jansen as Victoria and Joshua Sass or Sasse as Jacques Artis. And Jacques is actually the French pen pal that Victoria used to have. And they used to write a lot of letters to each other. They used to get on very well. And it just so happens that Victoria is in Paris for a wedding. And her ex is also going to be at that wedding. And while she's there, she decides to reconnect with her pen pal, her childhood pen pal, Jacques. And obviously we have this romantic relationship developing between them and then you have that against the backdrop of the wedding and the setting is really nice everything makes a lot of sense the story unfolds well it is filmed at least in part in Paris and also Bulgaria apparently I don't know too much about the filming locations because IMDB is quite vague but visually everything is very appealing very attractive we have a, a variety of different settings and locations to keep things quite interesting the narrative works really well and there are times when it feels like Victoria might still have feelings for her ex and that she's maybe not completely over him and it's not it's not an unpredictable film but at the same time, there are a few things with the character's actions that I perhaps didn't anticipate. So the narrative and the emotions of the characters are all quite interesting. But as I said, a lot of the characters are just not very likeable. Namely, Victoria and also her friend Tracy, who is, is getting married. And I will say it's nothing against the performances. The performances are absolutely fine. I just... I kind of found the characters to be a little boring, to be honest. Not bad as such. It's not that I disagreed with things they were doing or saying. I just didn't find them very interesting. So I wasn't exactly emotionally invested in their journeys because I just wasn't that bothered. But the events that happened were okay. A little mundane in places, but there were also some scenes that were actually really nice. So it definitely ebbs and flows quite a lot. But as I said, it is certainly watchable. It's more it's more good than it is bad. There's not really anything bad about it, but there are some parts that I just didn't really care for. So I can't really fault it. There's nothing specific I can point to that didn't work. I may not like some of the characters, but I didn't I didn't dislike them either. I'm very much neutral. So it may not have been the most emotionally thrilling journey. The narrative may not be the most fascinating, but everything works well enough. So if it sounds like your kind of film, I'd say it's worth watching at least once. Probably only once for me. I can't imagine I'd ever watch this again. But as I said, there's nothing really wrong with it. It's just not a great film, but it works well enough. If it appeals to you, give it a go. Her pen pal is not too bad. It's definitely a watchable film.